Hello, hello, amazing parents. Flora McCormick here with your quick down and dirty recap from the first day of our Calm Confident Parenting Workshop, which was all about parenting smarter, not harder. So let me tell you all of the quick details. First of all, if you don't have your workbook, say the word workbook, because I don't want you to miss all the juicy details and places to be able to take notes that are handy and available to you for free. So just say the word workbook and I'll get that to you. The second key thing is that I want you to know if you wanna share replays at all from this event, you can go to sustainableparenting.com slash workshop. So if there are people that are not in Facebook that you realize, oh my God, I wish my sister-in-law had this, send her that link. And then third of all, I want you to know that anyone who comments in this video or the other full recap video is entered to win a free Starbucks card. So each day that you participate in watching either the five minute recap or the full replay, you will be entered to win. And I'll be announcing those on our page each day in the next video. So make sure that you're watching all of them to see if you won. So yesterday I shared that first of all, I bet you're here in this workshop for three major reasons. I bet first of all, you're someone who cares deeply about your child. You're someone who wants a better relationship. You're someone who cares about your family having more joy and enjoying time together. And you're someone who um, really, really wants to see things going better. Um, you wouldn't be here if you didn't. Secondly, you're someone who maybe, yeah, this is not going how you thought it would. And boy, have I been there. I'm going to tell you in just a minute my worst, most embarrassing parenting moment that happened in front of 40 other parents. And third of all, I bet you're someone who really wants to save time and energy. So these tools really are meant, if you are like done with the cycles of struggle, you're ready for it to be better and fast, then this workshop is, I promise you, the best place to get there. Because my strategies are all super effective and trying to get you out of what's not working and into what will save you time and energy and be sustainable. That's the whole point of the name Sustainable Parenting. Hi, Shauna, great to see you. Others that are watching, um, put an emoji below so that I can see your name and know that you're watching and that qualifies you for a gift card live or replay watching. Okay, so here are the key things. First of all, my most embarrassing moment where I was not being calm or confident was with my son. I can remember he was four. We walked into swim lessons. I had my swimsuit on, the sun was shining. It was like, this is gonna be fun. He's gonna do his first swim lesson without me. I know he can do this. And I had my swimsuit on to try to just warm him up. And then I was going to leave. We had talked about it. We had, you know, taken some time to play at the pool ahead of time. So that being in the pool seemed fun. We were putting the parts in, you know, I felt like we had a good launching pad for this to be successful. Well, all of a sudden it's time for me to leave because the teacher is there. And in this space, there were all the kids on different sides of the pool, parents standing behind them. So as other kids are coming in, their parents are behind them. My kid just starts losing his marbles. He is screaming, he is clawing at me. He is like, don't go. And I look around, no other kids are doing this. And I feel so embarrassed my cheeks are red, my like chest is hot, he's clawing at me and I'm like getting so angry with him and furious and confused. Like, how did this happen? I thought we had a great thing going and I just ended up bouncing basically between like, okay, it's okay, honey, we can do this. And then like, nobody else is having a hard time. Come on, you can do this, like get it together. Why are you being so difficult? Come on, it's just, it's gonna be fine, it's gonna be fun. And nothing of those two options made it better. That was what I call the common cycle of bouncing between like overly gentle mom or dad into monster mom or dad. If you can relate, tell me what you felt in a moment like that. Yeah. 
And in that moment of feeling angry, confused, furious, like chaotic, I just decided to make a change. And I realized over the next three years, I developed a system that made so much more effective, um, what became so much more effective for moments like that, that I now teach to parents worldwide. And it all started with letting go of three things I was doing in that moment that did not serve me. So the first key to calm, confident parenting is to let go of what is not serving you. And let me tell you the three most common errors that I see. The first is parenting from the neck up. The second is pinball parenting. And the third is asking the wrong questions. Parenting from the neck up. Let's unpack that a minute. Parenting from the neck up means that you are getting into a moment where the kids are frustrated or resistant or defiant and you turn logical. You're like, here's the reasons this isn't a big deal. Here's why you need to be nice to your brother. Like, please calm down. Just using only your words and your logic to try to change their behavior. And it typically doesn't match where the kids are really at. In that moment, Caleb had a flipped lid. He was like, that logical part of his brain was not in the picture. He was having his fight, flight, or freeze go on. So the error I was making was parenting from the neck up. And instead, I have developed many strategies that are more neck down, that help children actually learn how to calm down, that help regulate their system, that use relationship as the foundation and that get kids into knowing how to problem solve and practice the better behaviors. So many things more neck down. Second common error is pinball parenting, which is when I was bouncing between the like kind mom, monster mom, it was because I was just taking information from all these different places. Attachment theory and things were seeming to lean me towards like, I just need to be patient. I just need to like validate but then that didn't have enough backbone. And so I'd come over to like where people were telling me, you just need to give them more tough love, but it was like overly harsh. And so instead of pinballing, I wanna to suggest to you to be learning ways to be kind and firm at the same time. And then instead of bouncing here and there, you will be predictable. And that predictable parenting is something that's essential for a healthy relationship. Helps our kids settle in and not be constantly negotiating and begging. It helps parents feel more able to keep the boundaries that they've set. When you're not pinballing and you have a succinct plan, like the Sustainable Parenting CEO three-part method that gives you an essential recipe and all the tools within each part of that recipe, you will not be pinballing. And the third most common error is asking the wrong questions. You heard it in my story. You probably noticed it. I was saying, why? Why are you making this so difficult? Why can't you just have this go better? And friends, our kids do not respond well to why. They typically don't know the answer. So tomorrow or today, I'm gonna give you the answer of what to be asking instead. Okay, we're going to be talking about how to approach things better. Tonight is the secret to less anger, and it's all about equipping you with better tools that are going to get better results. Because when we get better results, then we're not losing it all the time. When we feel equipped and empowered, we're not at the edge of our rope. That's what's different in sustainable parenting. That's why you're here. Make sure you comment below what is it that you most got out of this? What is the realization of the error that you have possibly been stuck in that has not been serving you. And I want you to have zero guilt. Just let it go. Wow. You could realize today that error that has not been serving you. And secondly, I want to ask you to Think about it, maybe even slightly harder question, but it's like really worth asking and answering. How many hours do you think you have wasted each week on that error?
that has been a part of the cycle you're so frustrated in and you're realizing in this moment, oh my gosh, I have contributed to it not going well by using an ineffective approach. Oh, how many hours have I wasted continuing to try to think that that tool was somehow magically gonna work even though as I pause now and think about it, over and over and over, it has not worked. So give me your word, give me a number of how many hours and show up tonight, 8 p.m. Montana time for part two that's gonna give you super effective tools to have kids cooperating and you keeping your cool.